Good Saturday, everybody. Glad to have you here. Hope you've had a good week, and I appreciate you joining me. If you want to follow along, uh, we'll be in the 10th chapter of the book of Acts. And we're going to be looking at a couple of um, visions, a couple of very important um, changes, um, or really no change, just uh, making, making what had been done um, making the disciples, making the, the new church understand uh, what God was now doing uh, in the world. And so beginning in verse uh, 9 of chapter 10, we're going to be looking all the way through verse 22, and so I'm not going to read all that to you for time today. Um, but very simply, uh, Peter goes up on the housetop, and again, most of the houses had a flat roof and they would basically use the roof as a porch uh, and he go up he went up and uh, says he fell into a trance fell asleep um, but uh, he has a vision of a sheet coming down from heaven uh, and in it were all kinds of animals and reptiles and birds and a voice told him to go eat and Peter responded can't do it uh, because they're un the, the things there are unclean and the voice responded and said, what God has made clean, don't call common. And um, this repeated itself uh, two more times, three times in total. And, uh, and so Peter uh, was thinking about this vision and what it meant. Uh, and at that, about that time, the men that had been sent by Cornelius uh, arrived <clears throat> And, uh, and and get to Peter, and um, he's told they're there, and Peter goes out, uh, and um, he asks them what they want, and he says, uh, we have come on behalf of uh, Cornelius, who is a centurion, a Roman soldier. Um, he's a good man, good God-fearing man. Uh, the Jews speak uh, well of him, and we have been, um, he's been told to call you, and um, hear whatever it is you have to say. So, uh, that vision, what exactly in the world is going on? Uh, I like, um, uh, there's a, a good a good book, probably may not be of value to, uh, to a lot of people, but uh, it's called, uh, I believe, The Big Idea, Main Idea, uh, something of that nature. Um, big Idea, I believe it is, for preaching and teaching. And it just goes through in, in many passages of Scripture. It just kind of gives you the, the main idea uh, of what that passage is. And uh, it uh, gives you a little more information than that. But I, one line uh, that, uh, that was included for this particular section, all from here all the way down, uh, the first of chapter 10 all the way through the middle of uh, chapter 11, is very, the, the, the very straightforward line there is no them in God's family. There is no them in God's family. Cornelius the Gentile sins for Peter the Jew. Uh, big difference between them, a uh, hatred between the, the two groups of people. Um, you just didn't go into each other's home. You didn't, um, you know, didn't, you just didn't associate with each other. And then on top of that, typically there was a huge religious difference, not just socially, but religiously. Um, and Peter is he's shocked by the fact that these Gentiles uh, come to him and uh, ask him to come and meet with Cornelius the Gentile. Uh, Peter's just not ready for something like that. Um, but God is ready. And so um, God has given him this vision, and he's ready uh, to break down these walls, to break down these divisions, and, uh, and eliminate this division between Jew, Gentile, um, uh, whatever races, whatever division there may be, um, God is ready to, to end that and, and, and uh, get us beyond that. And, um, you know, I think it's a vision that uh, perhaps uh, many in the church, even today, uh, we still need uh, maybe to, to have, uh, have one of these, uh, these visions uh, like Peter that would cause us to lay down uh, our, uh, our petty disagreements and divisions. Um, there are 
some uh, again some some issues that that are not debatable. Uh, the virgin birth of Christ, um, the uh, Christ being the only way of salvation. Uh, that there are some some non-negotiables um, in my faith, um, but there, there are some things that we tend to put up as barriers uh, that really are not that important. Um, we, you know, again, and, and some of them are are long seated and uh, in our culture they're they're racial they're. Um, they're, they're national, you're from a different nation, a different background, um, you know, rich, poor, um, all kinds of, uh, of backgrounds, Baptist, Methodist, Pentecostals, um, and, and so th those things um, are, are barriers that are keeping us from uh, accomplishing uh, the work uh, of Christ. And uh, we, um, you know, and I think that's the lesson that God is teaching us. And again, I, I think there are some things that are, that they're, they're deal breakers. Um, but again, the, 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 but very seldom in my Christian life uh, have I seen those actually been the issues. Typically, it was, well, you know, he's got long hair, or she's wearing pants, or she wears makeup, or. They play cards, or they go to the movie theater, or they dance, or, you know, it's things that you personally may disagree with and may have a personal conviction over, um, but they, they shouldn't be built deal breakers to us being able to fellowship together, but more importantly, being able to work together uh, to, to reach a lost and dying world uh, for Jesus Christ. And so... Uh, as we leave today, I want to leave you one more time and, and, and put that thought in your head and remind you of that statement. There is no them in God's family. Have a good day. We'll see you here next week.